Let's take a look at a mechanical inverter. I put this together out of spare parts I had. It's not very practical, but uh, it's just fun to put together. So we start off with a, uh, a transformer. This one was 120 volts to 12 to 24 volts over here. So it has two 12 volt coils. You know, if you put them in series, you get 24 volts, but we're using them uh, at 12 volts here. And what happens here is when, if you put uh, energize this coil and there's a negative up here, then this side becomes positive, and this side becomes negative. And then if you switch this down here and put a negative down here, this becomes positive and this becomes negative. So this switches back and forth, okay? Now, what we do is we take the uh, positive 12 volts off the power supply and put it right to the center of the two coils here. And then we're switching the negative from here to here. So negative here, we get positive here. Negative here, we get positive over here. And they switch back and forth. To do the switching, I'm just... Normally, they'd use a, a, a vibrator that's made for that, but I'm just using a relay. And so we have a relay here, and uh, I have the uh, power come in through a normally closed contact, and that energizes the, the coil. Now I have a capacitor across the coil, and what that does is it, it holds the coil in and it delays it off. So there'll be a delay there to turn off. So I wanted to uh, be able to switch it at 60 hertz. So... Uh, I looked at this, I said, well, we've got a capacitor and an inductor. It looks like a tank circuit. They use those for tuning transistors and, and receivers. And so I did the formula for that. And it worked out to about 30 uh, microfarads a capacitor. And then I, I said, well, there's a RC time constant. And we know the, uh, the Henry's of the uh, coil here. So I just did this C is equal to T over R. And that came out to 88 uh, microfarads. So uh, I had 100 here at first, but uh, I ended up putting a, a 47 uh, microhenry in there, about half the, the, in between these two here. You know, this thing has a, uh, uh, when we energize this, uh, it has a spring that pulls it back. So there's a lot of variables in there that uh, we're not, we're not figuring on, but I used a, a 47 mic, uh, microfarad capacitor and uh, it seemed to work out good. So uh, We'll, uh, we'll give it a try, to see how it works. Here's the unit here. Can you see that? Make that a little smaller there. So, I'm gonna turn the powers on. Now I'm gonna turn, this switch here is gonna start it vibrating. I can hear it vibrating. Now, now I'm gonna turn the uh, Turn this one on. I'm going to have, put my hand over here. This uh, might be strobing for you, but we'll see what it does here. Well, not too bad. So, not bad at all. All right, so that's uh, that's it uh, working. This is a LED lamp. It's a 40, equivalent of a 40-watt lamp, but uh, I think it draws to 3, three watts or something. Right, there we go. So, turn that off, and then turn that off. So, it works. I put it on the scope, and here's what we got on the scope. Let me make that a little bit bigger there. So we have, um, with that 47 microfarad capacitor, we have, uh, well, 50, 55 hertz, close to my 60 there. Uh, and it's got, uh, what else we have here? RMS, I don't know, these, these, I'll show, well, here's the waveform here, so a lot of these are, are, you know, don't make much sense, it gives you the hertz here, but this is uh, not a very good uh, waveform, I thought it'd be more of a square wave, but uh, there's a lot of bouncing on the contacts in here, and this is the delay off of the, uh, with the capacitor, and then it just springs back this way, so there's not much, uh, much going on that way, in fact, let's, let's turn on one more time, and let's test the, uh, Test the voltage here. I've got uh, my meter here. You see that? And I'll put that on here and there. And 
Turn the vibrator on first. Uh, watch your eyes here. And I've got 115 volts, 117, 120. Varies around, but close to the 120 that I wanted at uh, 50, uh, 55 hertz. And it does light the lamp, so it works. Um, like I said, not very practical, but uh, just fun to do. And, uh, you know, this is 120 volts, so you have to be careful with the... Um, with 120 volts what I did is I have a I have a socket here so it's a little bit safer that way anyway uh, that's my uh, mechanical inverter thank you